What's up guys, Monthly Block of Cheese Review here, and uh, I know I haven't posted in a while, uh, you know, it's just been pretty hard with uh, finals and whatnot, I haven't really had the, the mood to uh, upload, but you know, today I figured, you know, it's New Year's, I'm gonna put one out for you guys, just cause, you know, I care so much. So, uh, today we've got uh, Arricchio uh, cheese, it's actually a type of provolone, it says imported from Italy, it's supposed to be a... Uh, a legendary cheese it says it says Italy's legendary provolone so uh, we're gonna give this a try and I'll, I'll let you know how it is I'm gonna let you know if it lives up to its legendary title it's actually I actually had to cut this earlier so I could open it easier so I wasn't sitting here for half an hour with a uh, like trying to chew my way through this plastic wrap but uh, it smells pretty good uh, right off the bat I definitely smell it already it smells like uh, like provolone as you'd expect very hmm. there's a huge piece that just broke off my mouth hmm. I uh, wasn't expecting it to break like that Okay. So right off the bat, I'm going to say, obviously, you know, I, I bit off a huge piece of it. That's pretty straightforward, you know, whatever. But uh, right off the bat, it was very powdery. I didn't expect it to be that powdery. And then uh, it didn't really taste like provolone up until the very end of my, like, when I, like, started to slow down chewing, I had to be very deep into the chewing to, for it to actually taste like provolone, like I'd expect it to. Let me try to figure out what that taste is in the very beginning, though. Oh, there's the powdery taste I was talking about. And then, uh... Hmm. It get like... It starts out like cheese, you know, you bite into a block of cheese. You'd expect it to be, uh, you know, it's really, uh, it has a give to it. But as you're chewing for a while, it doesn't, like, break apart in your mouth. It, like, turns to powder. And then it starts tasting like provolone, like, after you're chewing the powder for a little bit. And I'm not sure I like that all that much. Uh, that makes me feel weird, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, can't say I hate it. I, I definitely don't like this one all that much either. I, I think I'm going to rate this one like a 4 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, 4 out of 10. Maybe maybe actually 3. Yeah, 3. 2.53, somewhere right, like that, right around that point. Because it's, it's not that great. I probably I wouldn't cut this up and eat it outright. If it was on a cheese platter in front of me, I'd probably go for this last. Uh, I don't even know if I... I, I don't even think you could like throw pepperoni on top of it and not recognize it. It's just I, I don't like how it turns into a powder in my mouth. I don't like that. I don't like how there's not much taste to it either. That's another problem I had. Until like it turned to powder, there really wasn't a taste to it. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'd say like 2.53 out of 10. It's not that great. It definitely doesn't live up to that legendary title. I, I feel bad for the people who always had to eat this and like when they were, you know, medieval or whatever. Like growing up, if this was all we had for cheese, I probably wouldn't love it as much as I do. But yeah. We'll say we'll say two point five. We'll we'll call it the weakest. So uh, you guys uh, like this video? You know, just let me know. If you got any more ideas for stuff you want me to do? Just also you know leave a comment, tell me, and uh, see you guys next month. Later.